It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Siren Craft Brew and it's a can of their Cacao and Cherry Broken Dream Twisted Breakfast Stout coming in at 7.4% ABV in a 440 milliliter can. Without further ado, looks very nice. I like the can. Very kind of distinctive for Siren Craft Brew. You can definitely see their beers from a distance on the supermarket shelves and go they're pretty decent i'll have one so let's get it out into a glass and see what we get a little bit of smoke on the can opening there it is beer in the glass oh look at this that looks nice, really nice. Uh, we got a one to two finger tan coloured head, a jet black beer in the glass, good levels of carbonation, rolling up the side of the glass. Pretty good looking beer. Um, I've had Broken Dream, um, I've had the breakfast out Broken Dream. I've also, I've had a few of the Siren. Um, Imperial Stout, so I had the Apple one. Uh, they did it for their like one of their anniversary beers earlier on in 2020. I picked it up in a bottle shop. It was really good, really good beer. But um, so when I seen this, I thought, ooh, you know, four pound a can in Morrison's. It should be a good shout. It should be a good shout. So this is part of the new Morrison's beer range that launched in September 2020. Um, a lot of excitement about it. Um, I, I personally, I've had some fantastic beers uh, as part of this Morrison's craft beer range, and I'm really excited that that Morrison's have. It's like they've they've raised the bar for me. They've raised the bar with with the quality of the beer that they they've brought out, and I think that's probably to do with the fact that they're a Yorkshire company, and being a Yorkshire company, generally Yorkshire people, they know their beer. They must have a fantastic beer buyer. Let's get the aroma. Ooh, like tobacco smoke. Pipe tobacco smoke mixed with uh, a, a fruit cherry. Mmm. I mean, we're talking, we're really heading towards 7.4% ABV. We're heading towards Imperial territory here. Chocolate, coffee, caramel, cherry, tobacco smoke. Lots of plum and fig and prune as well on the back end. It's probably the dry hopping in the beer. Let's let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Hmm. <clears throat> It's good. It's very good. It's a very good beer. I like it. Good mouthfeel. Carbonation pushes the beer on the inside of the mouth. You can go two ways with a stout. Let me put this down a minute and explain. You can go two ways with a stout. I've had lots of different style stouts over the years. You can either go really big and thick and rich Chocolate, coffee, caramel. Something in my eye, sorry. Chocolate, coffee, caramel. Big, thick, bold, engine oil style mouthfeel. Or you can go with a stout. And I've had many of these stouts where they're not quite there on the mouthfeel. And then you lead towards it being very vinous and very kind of plum-like and prune and fig on the back end peppery and spicy, hoppy, and I, I always, 
I mean, each to their own, each to their own. Um, but if you ask me at the fork in the road, which direction I would want to go down if I wanted to drink a stout, either that way or that way, the big, thick, bold, gloopy stout, gloopy stout with lots of kind of oats and lactose and chocolate and coffee and caramel. I would go down that road every single time. But if that road was closed, for whatever reason, and I and I kind of had to go down that road of, of plum and fig and prune and kind of more of a dark fruit type stout, then I'm going to shrug my shoulders and go, hey ho, that's, that's where we're headed, that's where we're going tonight. Um, I find these beers to be a little bit more carbonated, a little bit more carbonation, a little lighter on the body, and then yeah, loads of plum and fig and prune, and in this case they're saying cherry. Um, I like it. I like it. Um, I'm just what I'm basically doing is 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 to a lot of experienced craft beer drinkers out there who who know their stouts, they know their porters. I'm pretty sure they're probably nodding their head here in 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 agreement of of they know where this stout is headed. They know that it's. You can see it. You can see it. It's a little bit thin. Peppery, spicy, touch of smoke, pipe tobacco smoke as well. And that's probably the roasted malt in the beer. I like it. Yeah, I've gone down that road. I've, the the road is closed over there for the for the big, thick, bold, thick, chewy, snicker bar like stout. That's all closed. So you're going down that road instead. And it's not like I want to go. Ah, I'm going to throw this down the sink. Um, but equally, equally, and and I'm I'm thinking on my feet here. If that road suddenly opened again then I would very quickly take a quick detour and go back down that road. If you know where I'm coming from, if that makes sense to you. And I think... I really don't think Siren would mind me saying this. This new range of uh, craft beers that have been launched into Morrison stores, they've been absolutely fantastic. I've had some absolutely cracking beers. Uh, most notably, most notably, we're all friends in this industry. Uh, this beer, the Vocation Brew York Sweet Temptation. It's a whole 1.1% ABV lighter in the alcohol by volume at 6.6% ABV. But it's just, and it's the reason why I chose to review this beer before. Because I do, you all know I do my reviews in batches. You, you know that secret by now, surely. You watched my Facebook feeds last year and the year before. But I decided on, on, on ABV alone that I would review this one first. And when I, when I seen how big and thick and gloopy and sludge like that was, I immediately went to myself, ah, I should have reviewed that later on. But you're never to know, you're never to know these things. Um, but putting these beers side by side, here is the Siren Broken Dream. Here is the... You can see, look at the colour of the head. Look at the colour of the head. It, it, it looks darker. If you rock the beers back and forth. Look at the fantastic lacing to the beer on... Or, or this beer. I, I don't know if, whether it's your left or my right or my right or your left. So I'm just going to say this. Look at the lacing on this beer here. Look at it climbing the glass. and Can you see the slight delay as I'm rolling the beer around in the glass? And that's a whole 1.1% ABV lighter in the ABV. And, and that is because they've added a load of oat. And that is because they've added a load of 
lactose to the beer and they've got it really thick and rich and dense um it's good it's good i i'm going to be perfectly honest with you i think i would choose um i've reviewed it i'm going to rate it but i think i would choose other beers over this beer um i personally and it's, it's a personal preference I personally like the, the caramel, the chocolate, the big thick loopiness of a stout. If you like more of a, a dry Irish stout that's a little bit thinner, a little bit more of a hoppy stout, then this is the one for you. Then this is the beer for you. There's no right and wrong. It's just my opinion. Um, you might you might love this beer you might love it uh for me i'm not so much in love with this beer but it's it's nice it's a perfectly kind of acceptable decent stout um an indulgence of chocolate and specialty malts broken dream is smooth eutocious and moorish brewed with lactose for balance and mouthfeel, as a special one-off, we've taken it a step further here, Spin, spinning the beer on sour cherries, cacao nibs and our very own bourbon barrel aged coffee, developed in collaboration with Quarter, Quarter Horse. I just think there's too much going on. There's too much going on here with the, I mean a lot of people add coffee to the beer. But sour cherries, I think they've just overcomplicated it a little bit, I think, personally, on this occasion. Um, I've had the regular Broken Dream, I've mentioned it before, it's a terrific beer, really good beer. But I just think they, 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 there's a bit too much going on with this beer. Maybe take away them sour cherries. Um, Siren Craft Brew then. Cacao and Cherry Broken Dream Twisted Breakfast Stout 7.4% ABV For me it's a 6 out of 10 6 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer Please put your comments in the comments box Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews Give us a big fat thumbs up Boom! Cheers!